Hey guys, it's Sabrina here with another video. And today I want us to talk about the stories that we don't have. Um, oftentimes we get so caught up in the struggle of our own mess, right? The mess in our lives that we fail to realize in that moment that we could be going through way worse. And it's not to downplay anybody's situation and it's not to be insensitive or say that your life isn't difficult or things are not going wrong in your life but it's just one of those things that we have to constantly remind ourselves that things can be worse that there's someone out there who wish they could change stories with us that being said you know like i personally you know, like, I am so grateful for the stories that don't belong to me. I am grateful for the fact that my story isn't linked or tied to identity confusion. Like, I know who I am. I know who I'm not. Um, I don't have the story of um, homosexuality. That's not my story. You know, I don't have the story of being neglected or abandoned. I don't have the story of missing a limb i don't have a story of you know this life-threatening condition or this disease or this sickness and you know just uh i don't have and even let's get down these are all the big things right the things that people look at like you know being a drunk being a drug addict and you know uh identity confusion and this that and the third but what about those stories that are deep in here the ones that aren't as public to the open eye but if someone reads your heart they can tell that this is you know what's wrong with you i am so happy that i don't have the story like you know gossip isn't my story you know i'm so happy that um evilness isn't my story i'm so happy that um what's that thing called to never be satisfied and to never be happy like that's not my story and it's just so crazy the news has a very good way of portraying to us these stories um and people's everyday lives and how we're seeing so many people go through so much every minute you turn around you're hearing about some bad news another killing and you know this person threw this person out the window and this person got kidnapped and this person drowned like it's just so much like there's just so much wrong going on in the world so many bad things are happening and every single day I'm just so grateful for the fact that that is not my story my story isn't a recovering addict. My story isn't recovering from rehab, from some domestic violence relationship. My story isn't, you know, just um, me getting shot. My story isn't about, you know, me about to commit suicide. And my story is not publicized. Because I have my own story. And trust me, it's not pretty. But I'm so grateful that my story is not out for the public to see. And the most beautiful thing about our stories, our individual stories, is the fact that we control the narrative. We can't control everything that happens to us or around us, but we control the narrative. We control what we want our story to say about us. And I think that that gives us the upper hand. I think that, you know, when you have a face based a faith-based relationship when you are connected to a higher power and you're always feeding from that source that it gives you the confidence to own your story and to also decide whether that's the narrative that you want to be shown because just because something happened to me it doesn't mean that that's that that's who I am or I have to live like that forever you know it's all a matter of perception and so you steer the ship of how you want your life to go, of what you want people to read when they look at you. People may still think whatever they want to think, but you control the narrative. Number one, if you believe something about yourself, then that makes it even more believable for somebody else, for the next person, whether that be good or bad. So if you're believing all these horrible things about yourself, it's only going to make it that much easier for someone else to believe those things about you, whether they be true or not. 
In the same sense, if you believe great things about yourself despite what your life may look like, then you know it's easier to convince someone that this is who you are, this is the story of your life, this is what the type of life that you want to live. And so I just wanna encourage all of us to um, really just take inventory into our lives and um, really just be grateful for the stories that we don't have, the burdens that we don't have to carry. The fact that I don't have to sit here and explain to you how many family members that I lost during the past six months or one year. The fact that I don't have to sit here, you know, and I'm not talking to you from, you know, in an interrogation room and, you know, telling you about what took place and what happened to me and what was done to me. There's been a lot done to me, but I'm just so grateful that I'm not carrying someone else's story, someone else's burden. You get what I'm saying? Like, and whenever your life seems too difficult, whenever your life just seems too overbear overwhelming, just remind yourself. Remind yourself of where you can be. And just remember that you wouldn't want to trade lives or stories with anybody else in this world. You know, whatever you may think that's going on in somebody else, somebody else's life, whatever story you think they have that's so much better than yours, understand that they're dealing with way more than what you think. They're up against so much more internally. They may look like they have it all together and they may have the great job and they may look like they're doing well, but you don't know what they're battling inside of here. You don't know the insomnia that they're, that they're experiencing. You don't know the heartaches. You don't know the things that keep them up at night. You don't know anything that's troubling them. You don't know the, the feeling of unfulfillment that they have, the feeling of depression that they have that they don't even ask for. It's not like they just want to be depressed. Some people just naturally face that. You don't know the type of generational curses that are on them that they're battling with every day. So I encourage you all to really just be so grateful for the stories that you don't have to tell, the stories that don't belong to you. I understand we all have, you know, tough lives, right? We're all going through things, but it is very, very, very crucial that you just, that you literally just understand that you are better off with your own story than anybody else's because you probably couldn't handle what the next person is going through vice versa they probably can't handle what you're going through we're all fit to be able to handle and carry certain things and the last thing you want to do is to be carrying someone else's burden carry someone else's life when you're not equipped for it you may be equipped physically you may be able to lift you know a whole you know semi truck but you hear that a family member just passed away and you will crumble, crumble. So, you know, also, this is also to just encourage everyone to just be kind to one another. Understand that we're all human. We all feel pain. We all um, experience different things. And so just be kind to one another. Be kind to everyone that you meet, everyone that you're around. Be kind to the person that is, you know, homeless, the person who even when you give him that dollar or give her that dollar, they turn around and they go buy, you know, alcohol or cigarettes or drugs with it because at least that's not your story to tell. That's not your story. So if you're not going to do anything to benefit somebody else, be glad that you're not having to tell their story as your own. That's it. And as always, I hope that you guys are doing well. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, um, to like my videos, show your girl some love, comment. I love interacting with you guys and share it, you know? So be on the lookout for the next one.